Alright, welcome back. This is part two, uh, the exciting conclusion of the Ultimate Filament Strength Test Throwdown Challenge. Uh, in the last episode, we tested some PLA and some GTPLA. Uh, today, we're going to be kicking that up a notch with another type of GTPLA, uh, some PETG, and some PLA Plus. Uh, and then, last but not least, for a control test, I'm going to do PLA Plus with infill. Uh, which should be really really strong so there's lots of ways that this can go horribly wrong so should be exciting stay tuned stick around uh, it's gonna be a good show for you uh, don't go away okay this is the PETG and I expect this one not be as strong. So I'm going to start out with only 20 pounds uh, and then slowly add on to that. And in case you fast forwarded it, my luggage scale is now broken, so I'm just counting hands to determine the weight. It's 30 pounds, better put on my safety goggles. stretching quite a bit more than the others did. Uh, it's really interesting how much how much that's sagging. Still not touching down here. Okay, broke the luggage scale again, but uh, that gives us a reading on the on the PETG. That was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all but seven cans. So whatever that comes out to, we All right, this is some more GT PLA. Um, it's an enhanced form of PLA. Good. In my experience is really prints very accurately. Um, so I'm going to start it right off at 40 pounds based on past experiences here.
think that's a new record. Excuse me. Oh wow. That broke differently than the others. Oh, that is whack. But we'll take a look at them all close up when we get to the end. Okay, next we're gonna do uh, PLA Plus. Uh, this is another type of PLA strengthened with various additives, and I expect this to be really strong. So I'm going ahead and I've got 40 pounds on here to start out with. Another ball hitch, which uh, weighs about 19 pounds. And that'll kind of speed things along a little bit, I think. Okay, and it looks like, luckily, each uh, one of these has three hooks on it, and to be honest, the middle hook is the weakest one, I think, so I'm going to give this one a second chance, and I'm going to use this hook over here on the left-hand side, and that should actually be even stronger, so we should get a good reading off of it. more than tied for <laughs> pretty damn strong that's crazy look at that For the control test, I'm going to do, this is eSun PLA Plus with a good amount of infill, uh, so this should be really, really strong, and uh, I'm just going to start loading on some weight. That's one last can, and then that's all the cans I brought up here, which beats the previous record by at least four cans. Okay, that's that's all the weight I've got on there right now. And now we're gonna go for broke and add the 20 pound or 19 pound trailer ball hitch. I've run out of stuff to weigh it down with. Um, not sure what I'm going to put on there next.
what did we learn here today? Well, we had some uh, really interesting findings. Um, the PLA Plus with infill, as expected, was the strongest. Um, this thing held a whopping 88 pounds uh, when all was said and done, and I calculated the weight of the cans and the waters and, and everything else. Um, coming in at the bottom, as expected, was the PETG. Uh, PETG can be, it can be very strong um, in the right application, but it also is very brittle, and that's why I um, wasn't too surprised that it, it came in on the bottom. Um, what's really interesting is where these middle four uh, stood. Um, this is the um, just plain old regular um, PLA, and it came in, it held 57 and a half pounds, uh, coming in third place. So that's not too bad for just regular uh, hatchbox PLA. Um, here in second place, um, this is the Ecolink GT PLA. Um, and it's interesting how it, it was really strong, but when it finally failed, it, it just failed really catastrophically. Uh, the entire thing broke in half, and so it probably won't hold a lot of weight on any of these, any of these hooks anymore. Um, and then you've got, um, you've got, this is, uh, Next Page GTPLA. Um, you know, next page is kind of a nobody uh, in the printer filament world, but um, their GTPLA is is actually pretty darn strong. Um, I've used this roll um, of this same filament on uh, my 3D printer that I'm building uh, because I trust uh, trust it so well. Um, now, last but not least, coming in at second last is. Um, this is um, PLA Plus uh, from eSun. Um, I tried, I did two different tests, and these both of these hooks failed, and they, they bent and the weight fell out of them. But the interesting thing is, the overall, the print is still intact. It's all in one piece. Um, you know, it, it basically just bent rather than broke. And uh, that's not, not the case with any of these other filaments. Um, so I think that's really interesting. Um, and this is another one that I'm using um, very heavily on uh, the, the printer that I'm building. Uh, but all of these are really great filaments that you can, uh, you know, I think you can get all of these on Amazon. And uh, they're all at a reasonable uh, price. So this experiment um, was a lot more work and a lot more uh, weight lifting uh, than I thought it was going to be. Um, all of these materials were way stronger than I expected. So I think this has been really uh, educational and informative for me. Uh, hopefully it was for you too. So don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and everything. Uh, so share this video with your friends and uh, let me know what types of materials you want me to test next. You know, maybe with uh, some exotics or, or, or something. Um, so, uh, so right now, um, as you've seen, I'm printing with my Up Plus Two, which is closed source and it's kind of limiting. Um, I can't really do flexible filaments, for example. Uh, so, um, we, as you may have seen, I'm working on a much bigger printer that I'm building. Uh, it's a rep wrap, so it's all open source and everything. Uh, so I'll be able to do. Um, all kinds of flexible filaments and exotics and everything once I get that up and running. So let me know in the comments what types of filaments you want me to test next. And uh, So let me know what you want to see. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep rocking on. <laughs>